I was down, but I'm always gonna get back up. I'm a rage, but I know I'm gonna get that truck. Done losing, I'm about to get that win. DJ, time to get my spin. Pouring rolls and Tim, don't break our bend. Took a long, long time just to get this in. Took a long, long time to get this in. Took so long, had to make some friends. When the love disappeared, when the wind's getting. like official music um, there's no actual video to the um, official video to the song so I just um, decided to make a, a slideshow of my photographs from a um, yearly protest which is called Pisona or or um, the People's State of the Nation Address which is a, a response to the silence from the Philippine government to calls it acknowledged to calls acknowledging the conditions of the uh, Filipino people and its failure to adjust their needs, um, and this what and these photos are these photos are the ones I took specifically from the one that happened last year, uh, and the song is um, by Bamboo. He's a Filipino artist coming from the from from SoCal, and the song is um, partially a tribute to the labor uh, his, the historic labor struggles that came out of um, the Central Valley in California, um, specifically Delano, uh, California, with the uh, United Farm Workers um, um, grape strike that happened, um, I think it was like in like the late 60s. Yeah, so yeah, let me try to play this video for y'all. Hope y'all enjoy it. Okay, good lighting, period, period, period. It's one o'clock already. Morning gone. Hey, YouTube, it's me, Christiana. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to When in Doubt Pink. Um, welcome to a work day in my life, working from home um, in the great city of Philadelphia, period, period, period. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I am busy. <laughs> busy busy if you're new here hi <laughs> i'm christiana i uh, am a communication specialist for a labor union and we about to go on strike all right <laughs> period we about to be outside okay um and i as a communications specialist um it is up to me uh to make sure that we look good we look good on tv we look good in the press on the news all the on the radio okay because the radio was still a thing they're authorized to strike last week and now have launched a strike tracker section of their website that lists upcoming events that could be affected really it could be at any time it's really like up to the negotiating committee christiana brown is a spokesperson <laughs> um that we look like we mean business because we do um and today already has just been a super super busy morning y'all saw me earlier trying to like just pull the pieces of my life together just a little bit um i just looked out the window and realized that actually today was tr today's trash day and it looks like i might not be too late um <laughs> Uh, so I need to do that like now really because the fact that it's one o'clock and ain't nobody come get this trash yet I don't know if it's because it was Easter or I don't I don't know why they haven't come yet but luckily there's time for me oh, there's there's hope uh, so I'm gonna do that in a second I want to very quickly put together a thumbnail for my March wrap-up video that will be coming out today as I'm filming this um 
I was really really happy that I could get that done because I really do love like my one commentary video a month of being able to get into it and it will be really interesting too to see how you guys like were reacting to what I was saying because I know I know I got some spicy takes okay <laughs> I I don't know I've always considered myself to be like an independent thinker um, and sometimes that means that I am in agreement with certain ways that people are viewing things and then sometimes that means that I might be like over here right uh, but it's always what Christiana thinks you know you know <laughs> for better or worse because girl I be I be tussling with people, okay? <laughs> anyway, I'm really bullshitting right now. Let me get this trash together. She was like, my editor said, unless y'all going on strike, he don't wanna hear nothing else, okay? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, we're in a crisis. <laughs> yeah, and you haven't told Bethany yet? Nope, I haven't, told, I haven't told anybody. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, well. Okay, so my coworker called and that kind of threw me off my square a little bit. Did I, did I show you guys my sweater? I have a strawberry sweater. Okay. Look at my sweater. It's got a strawberry on it and little little strawberry buttons. Isn't that cute? Strawberry, strawberry, cute. Strawberry, strawberry, cute. Strawberry, strawberry, cute. Strawberry, strawberry, cute. It's not strawberry shortcake though. It's just a strawberry sweater. Anywho, um, my coworker called uh, and I'm really glad that she did. I, you know, always talk about my superpower, um, <laughs> even within the union, is uh, my ability to get people to be for real, for real with me. <laughs> um, and very quickly, right? Because I show up as authentic as I can um, and I'm real about my own shit. And that makes people feel safe enough to come and talk to me about the things that are really bothering them um you know sometimes uh in this kind of movement we have what some of us call like si se puede energy um <laughs> which is like um which means like yes we can but it's like a can do like ultra optimistic positive spirit you know which is amazing and great and it is what like keeps us winning and waking up and fighting every day you know um but sometimes when things are just like really not feeling that way it can be hard to express that um with just anybody you know um and people know that i am someone who acknowledges that not every day is gonna have the si se puede energy you know what i'm saying and i'm really glad that this particular coworker um, decided to call me, um, which I guess is pretty early for her because she lives on the other side of the country. She wanted to talk through some stuff and I'm glad that I actually had some some solutions for her, you know, some stuff that we were able to talk through. Um, with that being said though, I'm hungry now. <laughs> I'm hungry now. I think I'm gonna have another meeting in about an hour. I'm gonna try to just take a little break. Um, I think I was saying before that I wanted to try to whip up a thumbnail for my next video that's coming out in an hour now. <laughs> it's two o'clock. We're, we're, we're getting things done. Things are happening. Lunch. We're doing lunch. <laughs> Remember when um, everybody was doing the like uh, the the salmon bowls or whatever, right? Like so, it was rice, salmon, spicy mayo, and um, seaweed, right? I don't know if you were like on that wave at some point on TikTok, uh, but that is still a meal that I indulge in sometimes. <laughs> um, and I think I'm gonna do that now. So I have this like cup of rice that I'm gonna put in the microwave. Um, I have a little salmon packet up there so it won't be like fresh salmon because I don't have fresh salmon. But it'll be a salmon packet. Okay, period. Um, and I do have seaweed. This brand of seaweed isn't too bad at all actually. 
very tasty. Okay, so I got my little cup of rice. We'll just throw that in there, it's hot as heck. Ooh, almost burned my hand. Um, my little chicken of the sea, salmon packet. I find these are just much easier for me than tussling with a can of salmon. Um, but I will tussle with a can of salmon depending on what I'm making. Try to break it up a little bit. Maybe the cat has um, wet food in her bowl today. So I don't have to worry about her trying to beat me down. Because she has like super, super sonic smell also. Ooh, along with the super sonic hearing. This does not look super appetizing, but it's delicious. <laughs> I've uh, just got this other brand of spicy mayo. Like I've never used this brand before, but it's delicious. It's really good. I love spicy mayo. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna do another one. There we go. Nothing too fancy. Sure, I could hop on now. Actually, I guess I have a meeting now. <laughs> Um, I was gonna say I have apple juice to enjoy with my meal. I started buying these little apple juices cause they just kind of work better in my lunchbox, which I did get a new lunchbox. Um, nothing too, too crazy, but my old lunchbox was really old actually. Um, and this one looks a little bit more mature, you know, you know, nothing too crazy. It doesn't have a ton of space still, that's the thing because sometimes I'm like trying to pack for like lunch and then like a meal between lunch and dinner depending on how long I'm out you know what I mean like I said um I am working I'm doing communications work for a strike and that has created a lot of long evenings <laughs> you know what I mean um and so I kind of wish I thought about getting a lunchbox with a little more space but it is what it is and now I have a meeting that will probably go two hours. Um, we're saying we're hopping on now instead of at three, but I got a feeling I probably won't get off until four. <laughs> There's just so much to do. So much to do. Okay, all right, that's enough. Okay, so it's five o'clock. I'm extremely tired, but nowhere near finished. <laughs> I am almost done my speeches, um, the speeches that I'm writing for workers to read um, at a press conference. Uh, it's not really that I have to like make anything up necessarily. It's like I've already recorded them talking about their personal circumstances a billion, a billion times already. And so now I know them and their stories well enough to like word salad-ish it into like a nice little speech, you know? Um, so I'm almost done and then when I'm done, I'll call them and prep them and all this stuff. Um, but I still have some like social media copy to write, um, to talk about to the press conference, you know? Um, I also committed to um, thinking of some fun slogans that workers can like write on poster board and be able to create their own signs, but those things have to be approved also by a lawyer. So um, it's really interesting because I can see very clearly the ways that I am being given more, uh, I don't know, trust? like. I've, I've always had trust, but like in this way of me becoming a senior communications person, I can actually see the ways that the the doors are um, open for me to do more than I was doing before or being allowed to, you know, even be able to tussle back and forth with the lawyer on my own. 
without someone having to be like cc'd or whatever like there's a lot more i don't know what is the word like because trust isn't the right word like i'm trustworthy always you know i always have been but um i there's a lot of freedom happening here <laughs> that is different than before and I, I like it I, I kind of like it a lot <laughs> anyway um I thought I would throw uh, a little chicken patty situation in the air fryer <laughs> um, I got these like Morningstar like veggie burgers um, I haven't had them in years Oh, this is a black bean burger. What did I say? Did I say it was chicken? I think I wanted chicken originally, but they didn't have it. So then I said, get me a black bean burger. Um, I don't remember ordering spicy, but I'm glad I just saw that. Um, but I'm gonna put one of these black bean burgers just to snack on. Um, and I might have an energy drink because I'm getting very tired and it feels like I'm only halfway through at this time. <laughs> So, you know, my face says I've been up a long time, the, the greasy, greasy, um, you know, I feel like I'm just really getting started today, even though it is five o'clock. Oh, I just remembered. Okay, the other thing I wanted to say is that um, in real time, you guys are chewing me the fuck up. <laughs> chewing me the fuck up over my, some of my like Candace Owens takes. Um, <laughs> which is okay, like, you know? Um, I didn't, I didn't say it if I, like, or I wouldn't say it if I, um, didn't want to like tussle you know what i mean or not really tussle but like to have a, a dialogue right you know there's always going to be people who feel like um unless you're on my side or whatever like you know i don't want to hear nothing you got to say i think that's cool i also think it's cool to like open up the door for various opinions uh victory begins in the garden i think you were saying like you know that the breakfast club really um kind of played in her face a little bit because they didn't push back and it's true because you know Charlemagne although he's an excellent interviewer he doesn't like he doesn't really have the range to to go back and forth with somebody like a Candace Owens in a I don't know the way that somebody like her does need someone like to go back and forth with like he doesn't have the range I have so much work to do it's freaking me out ah right baby it's freaking me out come here Come here, come here, I love you. Look at her, I love you. She's like, what the fuck? We do this every day. I love you, I love you, love you, love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Be free. Um, I don't know, yeah, there's more work to be had. <laughs> It's 8 15. Um, I've been just like stuck on the couch for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, but I literally, like, I literally just closed my laptop. I'm exhausted. I didn't get done everything, but I got done way more than I thought that I might. You know, my phone's going nuts right now. Uh, my phone's going nuts right now because my my home union or like my home local, if you understand union jargon, we just put up a statement, you know, calling for a ceasefire and for like a number of things uh, as it concerns Gaza. Um, and people are really excited about it because the statement itself is just like chef's kiss you know um and yeah I just I love Philly like I like I love Philly <laughs> you know what I mean Philly gets on my nerves at times you know just generally right but the people that I rock with from this city get it and get it every time 
Um, and I love that for me because they're like, that's not always a thing at every organization or like every local union or, you know, even outside of the union, like you don't get that everywhere. And so I'm just really excited that I can be closely affiliated with people who want to be on the right side of history, no matter what that means or what kind of consequences could come as, you know, like so many times the universe t lets me know I'm where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> this is another one of those moments. My face is so oily. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm ready to wrap up this night. <laughs> I'm ready to wrap up this day, wrap up this night. I think um, there's something I, like just pulling at me, like I wanna get back in the shower. I wanna put something on the stove. I'm having decision fatigue about what I should actually eat for dinner because dinner should have been a couple hours ago. Actually, um, at five when I had that little, um, little patty, I should have made it a sandwich. I literally just ate the patty. <laughs> Like I was so hungry, I literally just ate the patty when I should have made a sandwich maybe and I wouldn't be hungry right now. <sighs> Anywho, um, if you're still here, hey. <laughs> Thank you for being here and putting up with my shenanigans. Um, I love um, that I can potentially be somebody, um, a black woman in this like work from home, uh, nine to five girly space here on YouTube. Um, there's not a lot of black women in this niche. Um, it's mostly, uh, uh, it's actually mostly like Asian women in this space. And you know, obviously there's nothing wrong with that. Some of my favorite YouTubers, you know, fall in that category. Um, but I love that YouTube tells me that people are searching for this content. All right, black girly, all right, working nine to five, or in this case, I've been working, um, actually, let's not lie. I, I started working at 10 o'clock today. So I worked 10 to eight today. <laughs> This isn't an everyday thing. Let's be clear about that too. Um, like I said, these are special circumstances that will pass after a period of time. Um, you know, so anywho, anywho, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take care of my baby. You see, she's never too far away. She heard me say her name. Um, and we're gonna have a good night. <laughs> Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.